Hey, Virgo. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with a Gemini for the month of March 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarber.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgos coming in with the Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. So this person wants to come back towards you guys. They're like, they don't want to be stressed out over the situation anymore. This is your Gemini. Like, your Gemini don't want to be stressed out over the situation where they just simply want to get you back and be back with you guys at the end of the day. I mean, it's the Four of Swords to the Knight of Cups. Like, they do not want to think about this anymore. They don't want to be stressed out over this anymore. They're over it. They, they just want you back. Strength card. Like, they're always holding this demeanor about themselves that they have to have the control and that they can't be in their feelings or whatever the case is. But mentally, they're always in their head and they don't want to be in their head anymore over this relationship so they want to come towards you guys hoping that you guys are going to accept their offer they're still in love with you but they need to be very mindful with how they would choose to bring this cup towards you guys at the same time because automatically then you guys might just assume like it's just going to be a sexual connection but realistically they need to communicate that with you that they want more than that maybe this person's also been dreaming a lot about you too like a ton of dreams is what i'm seeing here like making them wake up in the middle of the night dreaming about you maybe you guys are dreaming about them too and that's because they're thinking about you constantly over and over and over again i don't believe that you guys want to go back to something that caused you a little bit of pain here i mean i don't think i think you guys are going to try and avoid this like as much as they miss you or you miss them whatever the case is i think in turn like you guys are trying to avoid a disaster with this connection that you guys have with this person because i can see that you guys have some shit going on with each other you know what i mean but in the end, it's like you're looking at that tower. You see how you're looking at the past, the tower? You're looking at how shit had happened and how shit was so fucked up in the past. It's like, do you guys want to repeat that same cycle again? Realistically, the answer is no. This person's coming with a gift, but you guys are still going to argue with each other. Maybe this person was happening, what was happening in the past was that you're a Gemini or you're Virgo, you know, vice versa, whatever the case is. Like, they wasn't treated, like, they... They was giving to you, giving, 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 and then they cut that off, and then they gave to somebody else, and there was like drama, competition, problems, and you guys were just really not feeling it anymore. Page of one, like you gave up. You're like, fuck this. Like, what am I holding on to a fucked up connection for, right? And it's because it's, this person's like, they think for themselves, they like the attention, they like to not like to take, they don't like to hurt people, but I can see that clearly they hurt people. When they stop treating people with respect, they only think about themselves. Emperor to the five of swords, very kind of like narcissistic energy. But when they see an opportunity, they're going to sit there and take it, which could potentially not be good for the first person. Because if they see another opportunity, they're going to leave the first person and go to the second one. That's really fucked up, which is right there. They had you and they went and they gave it to somebody else. And then it becomes a three party. You don't have time for this shit. You become an abandoned and it doesn't make you guys feel good, which is then leaves you guys in the position of justice. Like you guys really don't want to go back. Back to the past right you want to focus more so on your happiness i swear i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell the fucking company there the company fucking sucks <laughs> and, the, and the 10 so do you guys get your justice in the end you guys get your finances you get your happiness you get your stability everything works out they're saying like nothing is wrong like yeah you've been really really hurt but this is not something that is going to stay like this forever like you can actually heal from this with a justice card and your future is going to get a lot more better this was definitely a toxic situation that this person wanted to keep you pressed in but because you guys have the ability now to look at the two of wands of the devil like you're going to be like damn like that was actually really toxic like why would i put myself in something like this and this person's having a lot of problems in their life and this person has fire in their chart this could be you guys virgo straight up either way like you never know you know what I mean how people act out here and you guys have gotta be people everybody gotta be mindful with how they treat people and because now it's the four of pentacles it's like you guys might be in hermit trying to figure things out but there's so many delays that is happening right so they're gonna try and think that they're gonna be able to come rushing back in communicating with you but the way that you're communicating is so arrogant and so disrespectful gemini and vice versa that it's really gonna upset them like it's gonna either upset virgo or gemini it's gonna upset them so they're gonna have to think about it for a second like what happened to you like where where is that kind loving person that you used to be and then they come up and they're like i'm still here i'm the king of cups i still love you and it's like well then why why do you sit there and you talk so arrogantly for like why are you so arrogant and so disrespectful and 
and it is is a you don't like that energy when it comes to reverse like you have to think about like what happened to this like word and they're like no no i'm still here i'm still here but realistically are they really still there it's the moon card are they really still there or are they still fucking around with the moon energy and they're just painting a face for you right so this person's still running around they're still holding a lot of secrets they're still running away from wanting to commit to any relationship however and they're still got people that they're dealing with with the heart and they got two other people or you and another person that they're dealing with at the moment and they're still running away and that's the decision there's two people there that they continuously want that they want to be with this person and they leave them they run away and they go to the moon to have all the other people that they're fucking around with that are hidden it's just too much going on virgos and gemini you guys need to get your shit together and from what i'm seeing virgos you guys are the ones that are fucking around and you guys need to be very fucking careful because this queen of swords, she's not having it. This female Gemini, she will fuck you up. <laughs> she, will, she will fuck you up, Virgos. <laughs> she will tell you. She will tell you what you need to hear because she don't like the way that you're treating her. And every time, every single time that you put so much burden and stress on this Gemini, they're gonna, she's gonna make sure that she lets you know that you're, you, you fucked up and you don't want to hear it with the Knight of Pentacles. You keep turning your back away from them, right? Uh, they're ready to put an ending to this connection. Gemini's, it looks like you're ready to put an end to it. It's, it's, it's like how many times you have to say and keep saying and keep saying until they understand that the way that they're making you feel is fucked up. And they're still partying. They're still going out. They're still spending their money on stupid shit on the gal, them on the man, them on the whatever the fuck them and on the drinks and alcohol. This is going to cause a cycle to be coming in as a completion, but this person needs to find other ways to heal themselves. Ace of Swords. So there's a wand that's being presented to you guys for you to, to learn to just defend yourself, to fight your battles, to also set healthy boundaries. It looks like you guys, you and Gemini are going to link up with each other and you guys are going to speak up and say what you want to say. But in the end, even if you guys link up with them with the Two of Cups, you're sitting there having to defend yourself. It's like having an argument. It's like you're, you're telling somebody how you feel. Okay, well, listen, Jacob, you know, the way you're making me feel is a little bit fucked up. Like, I would really like to let you know that I don't like it when you do this and this and this. And then this person wants to come in with an argument. They want to argue with you why you feel the way that you feel. You don't, you're, you're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to argue with somebody because you made them feel fucked up and they're telling you how you made them feel and you think that they're not going to have some sort of way of feeling like that. It's like you're trying to say, well, I know what I did was wrong, but you don't need to argue with me about it and you don't need to feel the way that you feel. You're not you're not in that position to ever tell anybody how they how you made them feel. You're not allowed to tell anybody how you made them feel. When you made them feel that way. One person here is going to be very grounded, but the other one's still going to be in their feelings, absolutely in their feelings. And because they're in their feelings, the moment you say something fucked up, you're, they're going to get triggered. You need to make sure, Virgos and Gemini, you guys step into that power of the Queen of Wands, all right? Because in the end, no matter how many times this person wants to try you or say anything to you guys, you guys are going to win. You guys are going to continuously win. I'm talking about the Virgos right now. Virgos, you guys are going to be winning. <sighs> You guys have the highest altar. Somebody here also, so let's switch up the energy. You guys have the highest altar at the moment, meaning that if anybody decides to go up against you, you are automatically going to win it. You, you, you're, uh, you're undefeated. You're undefeated. What does undefeated mean? Defeated by none, meaning you're undefeated. Nobody can defeat you, Virgos. I'm telling you guys right now. I'm speaking directly to a Virgo. I'm not talking to a Gemini because I could see a Gemini doing some fuck shit in this energy here. And I'm telling you right now, you're going to lose, Gemini. If you're coming up against a Virgo and you think that you're going to be able to put Virgo in a position, uh, feeling like they that they're inadequate or whatever, Virgo have officially defeated you. And this specific Virgo that I'm talking about now is defeated by none it's something you're going to have to take into consideration if you want to choose if you choose up to go if you decide to go up against a, a, up a battle with somebody i suggest that you you choose very wisely be very very mindful with who it is that you're going up against because from what i'm seeing you lost already and this virgo is winning at life uh, six of wands the world card queen of wands you guys just carry this beautiful energetic energy about you guys virgos that 
a lot of people watch you. They sit there while I watch you. They they seen how much battles you had to go through and you did this all by yourself. Like you guys are getting the recognition that you guys need with the Queen of Wands, Six of Wands and the World card. It's absolutely success. So if you guys here work virtually too with the World Energy, the Fool card, you're, you're ready to take that leap of faith, especially when it comes to work. Like this Gemini thought that they was going to be able to sneak one on you. And it looks like they're going to come again and try and sneak one on you. But that energy is coming right back at the end of the day for them. You guys got a lot of fast energy happening in for you guys now uh virgos if any gemini was fucking around with you guys they're gonna have to see you why they're gonna have to watch you become successful happy prosperous you guys are gonna continue to keep your head down working hustling especially in the workplace everything's gonna end up being okay for you guys in the long run like really really good in the long run uh this is really fucking pissing me off there we go so annoying <laughs> so annoying <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. yes so you guys are ready to call judgment all right you guys are ready to move forward towards your happiness and 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 take charge of your life six of swords you're ready to heal yourselves as well uh virgos it's time for you guys to get out of your head too you know it's, it's time for you guys to manifest to create to do your thing judgments have been letting you know that you guys you guys probably got tests that you guys are having to deal with by universal laws and it's time for you guys to stop getting in your head and stop thinking so much all right you guys are also it, Virgos, your Gemini is stalking you and watching you outside your house. You guys got a Gemini who sits and watches you outside their house. Somebody here has a blue vehicle. They also have a white vehicle as well. Uh, maybe even a gray vehicle too. This vehicle is watching you guys outside your house. Be very, very careful, uh, Virgos, all right? Yeah. Anyway, you guys are moving on with your life. It is going to cause you sadness, but I think in the end it's the best for you guys to do this with the Ten of Cups. There's an opportunity that's going to come for you guys. Yeah, You guys are just going to have to really think about what it is you guys want in the end of the day. You guys are just going to have to think about what you guys want at the end of the day with the Hangman, Ten of Swords. You guys are very guarded at the moment, but I think realistically with the Temperance card, you guys are going to listen to Divination, take the time, be patient with yourselves, heal yourselves too, especially after this uh, breakup that you guys have to go through because obviously they want to be back with you again but i think in turn for your well-being and for your mental health it would be best for you guys with the ten of cups to the ten of swords to simply put a to close the cycle off to move on when you guys are ready to do so because uh, you guys are going to be in fighter mode of course so you guys are not going to be able to trust anybody for now and you spirit and the angel are going to bring this energy towards you guys and then you guys are going to understand why everything happened as it happened because you're meant to be successful with the nine of cups i'm talking to either one of you guys at this point you guys know your position when you guys were in this a fucked up relationship and you guys may not see this coming in now but there's an opportunity of love coming for you guys prosperity abundance happiness peace right make sure you guys are drinking your water uh you guys have a relationship coming for you guys uh virgos and it could be from a younger person but at the end of the day expect this energy to be coming for you guys with the page of pentacles four of wands and the queen of pentacles the high priest is here too you guys got money on the way too you guys are growing also on a spiritual level and you guys are leaving things behind at the end of the day nine of swords you guys have gone through so much stress so much pain but don't forget that god has been with you this whole entire time and you guys are going to carry on and be the empress that you guys are so you guys are going to you're you're it looks like you guys are having the help to actually help people and then eventually you guys will be able to move on with the eight of cups to the to the nine of swords don't be giving up too easily from what i'm seeing here uh make sure you guys continue to stay grounded be in your position uh even if this person is offering you only a little bit your intuition is going to want to tell you no i don't want it i don't want it high priestess page of cups eight of cups so you may simply walk away from it because you feel like you want something more than that but i think in turn you guys are learning to trust yourselves and trust your intuition and create and manifest that even though you guys have been through so much heartache and pain with the nine of swords three of swords spirit and the angels are going to come in and assist you yes somebody here is offering you a small cup of love but it only takes a small cup of love in order for them to learn more about you and 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 introduce themselves to you so you guys are so quick to walk away from anybody you understand so maybe sometimes giving people a chance is nice, but I think in the end, you don't have time for the bullshit or the fuck shit anymore. And you guys are stepping into that beautiful empress, emperor energy. You're knowing yourself and you know your worth. If they're going to give you anything less than what you, what you deserve, you're not taking anything at all. Thanks, cuties. Bye.